Hi, I'm JR. I'm an expat here in Saigon, Vietnam. A lot of my friends ask me questions about life in Vietnam and today I'd like to share some of the answers. What is your monthly overhead? Well, it's about time to pay my bills here in Vietnam. You know, I really didn't move to Vietnam because it was cheap, but incredibly, my overhead here is less than my property tax was in the U.S. I think being retired here is great. I, I didn't really come here for the, for the money savings or because it was cheap or it was low overhead. I came here because I like the culture, I like the atmosphere, and I like the activity that goes on all the time. It's really great. The house I rent is a two-story. It's got about 1,500 square feet. I rent it from my friend Ton. I was really kind of lucky he had it available. Uh, it's in the suburbs, it's not near the tourist areas, and I really like it. Being from Texas, I'm definitely an air conditioner addict. We run ours all the time here, and our electric bill shows it for sure. Electricity is about 10 and a half cents a kilowatt hour, and it's about 40% of what I was paying during my time in the Philippines. I can walk over to Whirlphone near my house, I can pay the bill there, and pay my Viettel, pay my city water, all at the same time. They take cash and debit cards. Usually it takes only a few minutes to do everything. Internet is 240,000 and it's unlimited. And city water usually runs about 110,000. I remember what this cost in the US and it makes me smile every time I pay the bills here. Hey, this is the water we drank, not the city water. We chose La Vie, which is a Nestle company. I'm not so trusting of the local owned water companies. The water is delivered to our house and we can SMS our order to La Vie. Trash pickup is private and we pay about 30000 a month for the daily service. In Vietnam, most people cook with LP gas. It comes in 13 kilo bottles. Easy to find a gas company here, they're everywhere. And you pay a bottle deposit and give them your address. After that, just an SMS or a phone call gets the delivery. We bought a spare bottle so we never run out in the middle of our cooking. Mostly in the city we drive our scooter for everything. It's very convenient. Easy on gas too. Occasionally we need a car for something and it's easy just to use Grab to get a car or van. We don't do that often but it's great to have it when you need it. We do most of our grocery shopping here at Big C, a local supermarket and some at the local market. You can get more fruit and vegetables than you can carry for 300000 at the farmer's market. We don't buy meat at the local market. I'll make a video about that sometime soon. Big C is really nice. It's like a modern U.S. supermarket, but the selections are very different. Takes some getting used to for sure. That's about it for our monthly budget. We also have a discretionary expenses like anyone else. We eat out, we go to the movies, we travel. And so I didn't really put that in the monthly overhead because it changes and it would change for anyone. I do know one thing though is I moved here for one big reason is I don't want to own a lawnmower or a snow shovel ever again. If you got some useful information out of this video, please like and subscribe. Over the next few months I'll be making more videos about life in Vietnam. Hope you watch and I hope you enjoy.